So over the weekend, they had the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner. This year, they booked Michelle Wolf for the entertainment slot. Michelle Wolf is a stand-up comic. She's been a writer for Seth Meyers and a writer and a presenter on The Daily Show. She's funny. And her set at the Correspondents' Dinner was awesome. Probably the best performance by a comedian at the Correspondents' Dinner since Stephen Colbert in 2006. She kicked ass. Or at least I thought so. Not everybody thought so. Obviously, the Trump supporters had a problem with her because she spent so much of her time ruthlessly mocking Trump, his racism, his misogyny, his xenophobia, his incompetence, his possibly imaginary wealth. But it wasn't Wolf's Trump material that got her in the most trouble. It was one joke she told about White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who was seated on stage a few feet away during Wolf's performance. After the dinner, politicians, journalists, even a few comedians publicly condemned Wolf for mocking Sanders, specifically calling Wolf out for mocking her appearance. Dennis Miller sure was mad about it. <laughs> Remember Dennis Miller? After Wolf's performance at the dinner, he tweeted, What a horrid human being Michelle Wolf is. I'm going to read up on her over the next couple of days, and I will have a few brutally mean jokes about her by Wednesday. Ooh, I can hardly wait to see what arcane, irrelevant references he makes in lieu of actual jokes. Was Michelle Wolf hitting below the belt with that smoky eye bit or what? I haven't seen such a vicious low blow since Lord Littlebrook landed an uppercut on King Kong Bundy. I haven't seen someone step that far out of line since Bill Clinton saw Scarlett Johansson walking by while he was standing in line for Avengers tickets. I haven't seen something that uncalled for since Thomas Watson walked into Alexander Graham Bell's workshop the day before he invented the telephone. And then he made fun of his mother for being deaf. Which was totally uncalled for. I've got more. I could make fun of Dennis Miller all day because he's the fucking worst. But back to the subject at hand. So what did Michelle Wolf say about Sarah Huckabee Sanders that was so bad? What was this cruel, out-of-bounds bit of ridicule? Well, if you haven't seen it yet, here it is. I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like, she burns facts, and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. Like, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. It's probably lies. That's it. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Steve, that joke wasn't at the expense of the appearance of Sarah Huckabee Sanders. It was at the expense of her being a shameless fucking liar. Congratulations! You get jokes better than all the people who were mad about that joke. Not everybody who objected to Wolf's set were specifically upset by the smoky eye joke. Some just thought she was too mean to poor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. For instance, NBC News White House correspondent Kelly O'Donnell, who tweeted, The spirit of the event had always been jokes that singe but don't burn. Reporters who work with her daily appreciate that press sec was there. O'Donnell followed that up the next day with another tweet explaining that she was merely acknowledging that Press Sec was a guest of a 100-year-old organization that I've belonged to through three presidents. Being courteous is not lacking objectivity. Ah, so that was the problem, was it? Michelle Wolf was insufficiently courteous to the press secretary of Donald Trump. Making fun of her a little bit would have been okay, just so long as she wasn't made to feel bad. The truest thing Michelle Wolf said that night wasn't directed at Trump or his press secretary or anyone else in his administration. It was directed at the journalists in that room. I think what no one in this room wants to admit is that Trump has helped all of you. He couldn't sell steaks or vodka or water or college or ties or Eric. <laughs> but he has helped you. He's helped you sell your papers and your books and your TV. You helped create this monster and now you're profiting off of him. 
And if you need proof that Michelle Wolf is right, that many of the reporters in that room care more about maintaining a good relationship with this hateful, incompetent administration than about telling the truth, no matter how uncivil or discourteous Trump and his shitbag cronies might consider it to be, look no further than that response from Kelly O'Donnell or the similar ones from Andrea Mitchell, Maggie Haberman, Chris Saliza, and the White House Correspondents Association itself, which apologized for Wolf's performance, saying that it was not in the spirit of the mission of the Correspondents' Dinner. Thank you, White House Correspondents Association. Thank you for spelling out exactly how fucking spineless and useless you really are. Chris Silza even characterized Michelle Wolf's jokes about Sarah Huckabee Sanders as bullying. How anyone could be so upset on behalf of anyone who chooses to work for Donald Trump is beyond me. Sarah Huckabee Sanders chooses to work for Donald Trump, to go on TV for Donald Trump, to lie to journalists for Donald Trump. She is a mouthpiece and an apologist for this administration that panders to white supremacists, that vilifies immigrants and people of color, that seeks to deprive women of their reproductive rights, that has tried repeatedly to ban Muslims from entering this country, that has cut taxes for the wealthy while moving to slash public assistance programs for the poor, that has proudly made itself an enemy of LGBTQ Americans, Americans with disabilities, Americans Americans with mental illnesses, that has lied to and undermined and attacked the free press in this country like no administration since Nixon. Trump, Sanders, Pence, Sessions, Scott Pruitt, Jared Kushner, Ivanka Trump, Kellyanne Conway, Stephen Miller, every last rat bastard motherfucker who works in that White House? You can't be too mean to them. You think that Michelle Wolf was too mean to Sarah Huckabee Sanders? You think she went too far? Sanders got off light. You can't be too mean to her. If Michelle Wolf spent the entire 20 minutes on Sanders and didn't even bother writing jokes, just stood there telling her to her face what a fucking liar and a disgrace she is, not even trying to be funny, just hammering away at her until she started to fucking cry in front of everybody, that still would not have been too mean. To hell with Sarah Huckabee Sanders and to hell with everyone else in this administration. There are people who were offended by Michelle Wolf making fun of Sanders, who were just outraged, who couldn't believe someone didn't step in and stop it. How could they let this go on? Who routinely go after Black Lives Matter activists or feminists or advocates for transgender rights or advocates for gay rights or college students who protest when fucking Nazis are invited to speak at their schools and they accuse those people of being too sensitive. Everybody's too sensitive today. Everybody's so politically correct. You can't say anything anymore. Black people being fucking murdered by police. Don't get so upset about it. Women being harassed or abused or fucking raped. Having their reproductive rights constantly threatened. Don't get so upset about it. People in Flint, Michigan don't have water. Native Americans forced to give up their tribal lands for a fucking oil pipeline. Don't get so upset about it. Fucking Nazis openly marching in the streets of American towns, lighting giant swastikas. Don't get so upset about it. The President of the United States lies constantly, threatens his political opponents, obstructs justice in full view of the entire world. Don't get so upset about it. But a comedian makes fun of that President's press secretary for what a fucking liar she is? Outrageous. You can't be too mean to these fucking people. Now, I tweeted something to that effect a couple of days ago, and my friend Callie Wright, one of my favorite people in the world, host of the podcast The Gaytheist Manifesto, which you should totally be listening to regularly, by the way, she reminded me of something important, and I want to mention it here so that there's no misunderstanding. When I say you can't be too mean to her, that doesn't mean anything goes when attacking her or anyone else. People were pissed at Michelle Wolf for making fun of Sarah Huckabee Sanders' appearance, which Michelle Wolf did not do. If she had done that, that would not have been okay. Not because of anything to do with Sarah Huckabee Sanders, but because that sort of thing is never okay. If you tell Sarah Huckabee Sanders that she should feel bad for how she looks, you're also telling everyone who looks like her that they should feel bad for how they look. You might not mean to do that, but your intentions are irrelevant 
that's what you're doing. And you don't have to do that. I don't give a shit what happens to Sarah Huckabee Sanders. I can imagine no scenario where I would ever feel the least bit sorry for her. But I would be sorry if someone else who had done nothing wrong were to feel insulted or degraded by a remark aimed at Sanders. There are plenty of legitimate things to savage Sanders over. She's a really, really horrible person. There's no need to attack people who don't deserve it while you're attacking her. Hit the ball hard, but hit the ball inside the foul lines, is what I'm saying. That's what Michelle Wolf did at the Correspondence Dinner. That's what all comedians should do. That's what all people, regardless of occupation, should do. She punched up, not down. She spoke truth to power. She called out liars and propagandists and collaborators to their faces. And if you think she was a little harsh, if it bothers you that she wasn't more civil in the way she addressed Trump and his underlings, let me share something with you that was tweeted by Raquel Willis last year, and it's something that none of us should ever forget. Anyone who is less than vehemently against the Trump administration can't be trusted. This isn't a close call. The Trump administration doesn't exist in a moral gray area. These are bad people. Bad, corrupt, ignorant, prejudiced, abusive people. They don't deserve our respect. They don't deserve our sympathy. They deserve exactly what they got from Michelle Wolf on Saturday from all of us. Jeez, I haven't seen that much righteous indignation since the Wi-Fi went out at the Cesar Chavez Student Center the same day as the new Ziggy Marley album dropped. Have yourself a pomegranate chai mocktail and relax, okay, babe?